hello everyone so in this video I am going to show you uh, a interesting thing in which uh, if you pass the instance number you will be able to see its details uh, means various uh, details which you can see very closely so for that I will click on this plus icon against user interface click on clients and human service and just right here uh, see instance details click on finish so now for that we will create a service so suppose that I will drag and drop one service here and let's connect it ok so I will click on new that instance details this is our service so what I want to do I want to have input for instance details instance number and I will give some output that we will see later like this now where instance equals to tw dot you can see I will zoom it here tw dot system dot find instance by id like this and you can pass here tw dot local dot instance number now where tasks I will get the tasks here so if I click dot and control plus space why it is not coming so just remove this so that it will give some data okay it is not giving okay wait just remove this yes now it is giving find process instance by id now dot you can see the tasks here tasks ok so I will just cut this where tasks equals to instance dot tasks and we can select here tw tasks ok so there is nothing kind of task so no problem uh, we will create a view task view so we will take task id task name and start time status and uh, we can write priority I think this is fine now we will go to 
this and select our task view and age list task data now you can see so suppose that uh, if I click here tasks if you click on dot control space you will see it is showing length that means it is an array just give some uh, index number so that we will be able to see further suggestions so now after that closing square bracket just dot control space now you can see the different values we want id okay so for i will create a uh, simple for loop where i equals to 0 i less than tasks dot length i plus plus so don't worry about this structure i will remove this uh, once i will write the complete code here so now uh, we are going to initialize our output variable and initialize the index bu like this and I will copy this again now I will write some properties id priority start time status task name okay that's fine now I want to have these values so I can just write okay copy this remove the dot put here I like that that's it now just copy this and paste it everywhere now we will change the property names so let's see if there is anything like priority yes there is priority now check if we have start time so there is activation time start date is there yes so this is started to work now status let's see if we have status yes we do have a status and if we talk about step name control space let's see if we have a step name so this is id owner originator phase priority value process activity name process activity name we will see it subject okay so subject will be like this step name now i will remove all this and here we are going to put up a variable that is instance number so I think uh, up to this is fine let's go back here okay so I have connected it here wrong we do not want it to be connected here we will name the instance uh, this service as cat instance details like this and you can see we have input and output just click on this it will automatically create variables 
and click on coach click on ok it's fine now let's go to the variable and i will drag and drop this and drag and drop this so by this method we are doing development in very speed i will drag and drop one horizontal layout and let's drag and drop one button here and just move it here go to the properties configuration go to appearance just select here left now it is fine i will name this button as cat detail now this will be the instance number and this is our task data so let's connect it here and back to here now i will try to run it yes you can see that now i will uh, open the process portal i will launch the process and instance id is 104 so i will run this 104 click on get detail okay so it is saying uh, some error let's read it so it is saying type found uh, expected string but found calendar so as you know we have created some date variable in the view but of type yes that's it now i will save it again and let's run it once again 104 now you can see we are getting the values now we will improve the ui so let's do it so first of all i will bring this button down or we can just simply make the label placement left and we can do the color style success and we can write here task details this data we can make read only by selecting it as output text so we will not select uh, for output text for this time uh, date type uh, variable and the last one We will hide the label save it now let's try to run it once again Now you can see it is showing some big value we will do that as well so it is a kind of tag it is of type text so i will make it as date time picker and visibility read only now save it once again put the instance details get detail now you can see this is some aesthetic ui and we can uh, we can do some color coding here as well so what i will do i will just complete this step 
submit dov cannot be empty let's put dov pan number okay let's put some values so that it will get submitted now this step is completed i will try to run it once again 104 now you can see the status of the task is closed and the next task is at received status now let's try to color code this okay so suppose that uh, on load okay let's write on load if me dot get data goes to closed we will write some console here let's run it and we will see if that works f12 closed not closed so yes it is working 